What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a breakdown of the Monster Hunter Digital Event May 2022. This is a digital event hosted by Capcom that highlighted what they had planned for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Now this video is a small breakdown of that presentation if you're looking to quickly catch up or you miss some details. So first of all, as always, Ryozo Tsuchimoto opened the show, introducing himself as well as the director, before showing off a new trailer. This trailer had many elements to it, including new gameplay of actually fighting Malzeno, the flagship of Sunbreak. It also showed the return of Seregios, as well as subspecies of Somnicanth and Almadron. New wire bug moves were shown off, as well as NPCs joining you on hunts. It was an interesting trailer, but did they expand? Well, short answer, yes. They went on to talk about the new monsters, or returning monsters. Seregios, for example, the returning monster also meant that we're also getting the bleed mechanic back in the game. The subspecies were named to be Aurora Samnacanth, which instead of being a sleep monster is now an ice-based monster, and Magma Almadron, which is obviously a fire-based monster. As Master Rank is also being introduced with Sunbreak, it means that all the existing monsters will have new moves added to their arsenal making things more difficult for hunters. They then went on to talk briefly about a new mechanic behind the flagship Malzeno in the form of Blood Blight, a debuff that he puts on you that drains your life source and potentially empowers him, making him stronger. It looks like hunters can fight against this and from what it looks like, it's a bit like the Bloodborne regain system where your health drains, but as you attack and be offensive, you'll get that health back, preventing Malzeno from charging up. And of course, we'll have more information on this when the game releases. They then went on to talk about follower quests. These are new unique single player quests that allow you to pick from a variety of NPCs found in Kimura Village as well as the new location to take out with you on a hunt. These will give you unique exclusive rewards and for me personally it feels like a way to get to know the NPCs a little bit more, giving a little bit more life to the game and its characters. They then went on to talk about hunter actions or player actions. These are basically moves, abilities, switch skills, so on and so forth. First of all, they talked about switch skill swaps, which basically allows you to have loadouts for your switch skills and you can swap between them. And you can swap between them during a hunt. You don't actually have to swap between them whilst you're only back at camp. There is also a swap evade as well that allows you to perform this swap whilst evading. This is adding to the variety, potentially allowing us to use all the switch skills in the game. Also, although they didn't talk about it, if you did notice that players now have access to five switch skills in the game. Currently, we have three in Monster Hunter Rise. So with the introduction of two more, it's a case with some break, we're probably going to get a new normal skill and a new silk bind attack, taking the total of five. A few other tweaks were added as well, for example, now you can wall run without having to actually wire bug into the wall, you can just approach the wall and start running up it. Also attacking monsters whilst they're in a position that they can be mounted, now doesn't mean that you automatically mount them, you can continue to attack them whilst they're in that stun phase, giving us an opportunity to deal more damage. But unfortunately that is all they revealed in regards to player actions, new silk bind moves and so on. They will have more information coming up in the future, including some dedicated short videos showing off what the new switch skills are for each of the weapons. They then finally went on to talk about more product details as they always do with these digital events. And then finally they revealed probably what's gonna be one of the first new events in that if you have saved data for Monster Hunter Stories 2, you'll be able to claim Navaru armor for your Palico. This is a layered armor version that turns your Palico into that character from that game. So there we have it, that is all the information regarding the May digital event for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Now those of you who tuned into my live stream, I made some predictions. Did they all come true? Mm, no, unfortunately. I think the biggest thing that came true was the fact that we were getting new subspecies of existing Rise monsters. But apart from that, we didn't really get any more details about the specific switch skills. We didn't get any news about a demo, unfortunately. But that is potentially still to come as they announce that they will be doing another one of these events. I assume it's going to be another one of these events in June. Now, as always, if you're interested in the full digital event, I'll leave a link down in the description below. But overall, what were your thoughts? Please leave a comment down below. And until next time, I've been Diablo, bringing you a breakdown of the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak digital event. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more.